So I just want to do a quick review of this pen. This is the Uniball Jetstream Prime Single, aka the Jetstream Prime. It's being sold as the uh, the Oily, O-I-L-Y, under some circumstances, but I think officially it's just called the Jetstream Prime. It's a Japanese pen. I imported it from Japan through Amazon. It was about uh, maybe like $15. Shipping took about maybe 10 days to get to me. And... Uh, came brand new, nicely boxed and packaged. This is the package, obviously, and you can see the details. 0.7 millimeter, I bought it in navy. It's also sold in a black and a silver that I know about. The uh, packaging is really slim, very light on details, no accessories, no spare cartridges. Uh, this pen, as you could probably tell from the looks of it, is an executive style retractable pen or knock pen, whatever you want to call it, with a full metal body, metal clip, metal click. Uh, the pen is distinguished as a uh, sort of executive pen in that it has the, uh, the sort of slick shape, uh, which is really reminiscent of another pen, which I'll get into in a minute. And, but it is a jet stream, making it one of the nicer jet streams out there. The, uh, in hand, the pen is actually a, a little different than I expected it to be. Uh, the main difference is it has this sort of, it's really hard to tell, but it has a sort of glitter appearance to it, which uh, I find to be really off-putting and I do not like it all. Uh, I did not see that in the video, uh, in the images when I was about to buy this. I guess they're just not high enough resolution or they don't have enough contrasting light or whatever, but it definitely is glittery. Uh, past that has a uh, really nice clip. I think this is really beautifully made. And it has a really quiet, slim, uh, quiet and light retraction or knock action to it. You can listen to it here. Nearly silent, just for reference, like here's a, here's just a Pilot G knock. So it has that sort of really premium feel to it, which is aided by the uh, metal body, that nice metal clip this little jewel right here, which is a nice little touch. Uh, the painted or whatever coated retraction, the metal. It's just like a lot of nice features. Unfortunately, it comes in glitter blue as opposed to the navy that I ordered. Uh, alternatively, you can get it in the silver or black. Uh, I'm really wishing I had bought the black at this point, but I figured the blue would be cool. But uh, and here you go. Uh, as for the rest of the pen, it is a jet stream, so I think we know what to expect from a jet stream at this point. It splits in the middle, which is a little bit novel for a pen like this, and is not what I expected. I thought maybe it split at the top. And inside you have a standard jet stream ballpoint cartridge. Nice metal base, and the body itself, the spring is up top. Uh, like some of the jet streams, it feels like it's been oiled and the uh, oil is like what makes the action so quiet and smooth. The uh, refill, I believe is a standard jet stream refill. I haven't really played with it too much to see what else I can get in there. With the uh, body tightened down, you can still see the seam, but it's pretty minimal. And uh, just for comparisons, I wanted to put this up against a few other pens in the same class. Uh, first of all, I have the Jetstream Prime. This is a, uh, a pen I really do not like, but I wanted to compare this because it is another Jetstream and it's a premium Jetstream. This one sells for about eight or nine dollars. Uh, so, but it has a plastic body, rubber grip, very few metal parts. The only real comparison is it has a uh, quiet, slow click action which is just like the one found here. This one doesn't have that sort of slow return from the like this being the pry being packed in oil, but it is worth the comparison. And then we have uh, this pen. This is the uh, Jetstream Alloy. And this one used to be about $15, but now it goes for uh, about maybe eight or nine. And this is probably a really close comparison uh, this uh, Jetstream Alpha Gel, and it's a close comparison because it has the metal body, metal tip, metal clip, uh, some, I guess, similar features.
features to it, but this one is the Alpha, so it has the, the big gel grip and it's sort of an ugly, bulky pen. The closest comparison to this uh, Jetstream, um, for anyone's called it, the Jetstream Prime single is the Sarasa Grand from Zebra. These are really close, like startling, startlingly close. Uh, first of all, they both have very similar dimensions, just as far as diameter and length goes. Both have really similar body shapes. It's a little hard to get the camera going with these shiny metals. It's really not great at that. So you can see it's not an exact comparison. Uh, obviously the Zebra has this awful clip, which most people do not like, but this one has, you know, the metal band here, contrast to uh, the plastic on top of the button. So like that is really similar to those two. Clips are both metal, but like on the Jetstream, it's really nice. And this one, it's kind of crazy. Uh, they both, I believe this splits at the base here where the grip area comes off. So that's the same. So uh, they're just really similar pens. And for a time, the uh, Sarasa Grand sold for about $15, $16 imported. Now it's a little bit less. And I'm sure this uh, Jetstream Prime will be less as it becomes more readily available. Uh, the main difference between the two, aside from the clip, is that the Sarasa Grand has this plastic insert over here where uh, this uh, Prime has a full body. So yeah, uh, as for my takeaways from it, I'm not a huge, huge fan. I, I think like a lot of this pen is very cool. I like this quiet clip. It's right with that. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Jetstream cartridge. I think it's just a little bit too much like a plain Jane ballpoint. So I'm gonna see what I can do to get this more, uh, a little bit more free flowing, like get a 1.0 millimeter cartridge in there or something like that. The build quality on this thing is really, really nice. It's just like the click feels nice. Uh, I would like something a little bit more clicky, but I, it's cool what they did. It's nice and different. The uh, construction on this is really nice. There's no shake or anything like that. Just very well done. It's comfortable, it's really well balanced. It's a little on the heavy side, but not like uh, not too hefty. It just from that perspective, it's really nice. Uh, I'm just having some trouble getting over the fact that it is so shiny. It's just a it's a strange color for me to have day to day. Uh, you know, usually when you have a, a nicer pen, it's like something like this, which is like a little bit more dignified. And this is uh, you could see it is just quite shiny and glittery, like kind of the sparkle action, not my favorite. Uh, so if you are gonna pick one up, uh, I gotta say, go ahead and get it in the black because it looks uh, like it might be a pretty nice matte black as opposed to a shiny navy. And uh, the companies that sell them, the third parties, don't make it really clear. They just say black, navy, silver. So uh, I guess buyer beware there. But past that, it is a very cool pen and I'm uh, glad I went ahead and picked it up. So yeah, that is the Jetstream Prime. You might see it as the uh, Mitsubishi Jetstream Prime, the uh, or something like that, or the Mitsubishi Uni Jetstream Prime, or maybe even the Oily Jetstream Prime. So uh, keep an eye out until they become a little bit more popular here in the States. Thanks for watching.